Greetings everybody and welcome to another one of our tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at the differences between three very similar poses. Flip dog, wild thing and fallen triangle or also known as fallen star. So the difference between these three essentially is the positioning of the feet and the legs. So you will see that in a flip dog we've got our heels beneath our knees and the feet are parallel to one another and in wild thing we have one leg straight one leg bent and in fallen triangle both the legs are straight so i'm going to come into all three of these poses from the same place so hopefully you'll be able to see the difference in each pose so we'll start in a downward facing dog I'm going to work with my right side. I bring my right leg up. I'm going to do flip dog first. Flipping your dog, I bend the knee, I open up my hip, and very lightly I start to release the foot down. You'll see when I bring my foot down, I reposition my other foot so that my heels come beneath my knees. From here, I lift and then I reach my other arm back. Make sure not to lock your grounded arm. So the micro bend there will help. It'll help you to come out of the shoulder a little bit. And from here I lift my hips. I lift my heart. And perhaps if it's safe for you to do so, you let your head release. Flipping back nice and slow, graceful transition. Downward facing dog. Now when I come into wild thing, you'll see that I keep the one leg straight. So I take the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, and then this foot that I bring down is going to stay bent. The other leg, well, the leg's going to stay bent. The other leg's going to straighten out. So if I lower that right leg, I extend through my left leg, and then I lift my heart. So I can come onto the ball of that right foot to come into a little bit more of a heart opener. And then flipping back again, nice and slow, downward facing dog. The fallen triangle is slightly different. I don't take it into a flipped position here. Instead, I take this right knee across to the opposite elbow and I make sure to spin my back foot flat and I press through the outer edge. Ideally, I want to bring this right foot out in line with my hand but if flexibility doesn't allow me to go that far, then I do whatever I can. Again, making sure not to lock out this arm. I have a slight bend so that I don't dump into the shoulder. And then I roll my top lung open. Perhaps again, I can soften my head. And then I bring my hand back down and send it back. Downward facing dog. I showed you how to get into all three of those poses from a downward dog position. However, a wild thing is traditionally um, accessed from a side plank position. So if I was to come into side plank, from here I would lift the top leg and then just step it behind from there lifting up. You can see the foot that stepped behind that leg stays bent. The opposite leg is nice and straight. All three of these poses are heart openers and therefore back bends. The deepest one being flip dog and then wild thing and then your fallen triangle. Anyway, I hope that this helps. Please post any questions and we'll be happy to answer them.